right, so I'm here with Ann Cook. Welcome. Thank you. Um, she has quite the history with Benson Hospital, so we just wanted to talk with you and kind of get some of your recollections and some of the things that impressed you most about Benson Hospital. Okay. Well, I go all the way back to 1970 when this hospital opened. So, oh, really? Yeah, I didn't work here. I was a county nurse. Okay. But we used to have um, pap smear clinics and... Oh, that sounds like a party. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Where are you going? I'm going down to the pap smear clinic. <laughs> good times, good times. But we we had a lot of uh, interplay when I, because I was a county nurse. And uh, virtually, we took care of uh, home health. We took care of the schools. We took care of all those things and so we would get referrals particularly home health from the hospitals and mm -hmm. so and this was one of the hospitals yeah. and so it was 1970 when it opened it was opened in 1970 they started to build it in 69 uh, 69, 69. Mm -hmm. so i was actually born in 69 were you yeah so this, this is a very young hospital <laughs> it's, it very is fresh yeah it is but uh <laughs> Actually, what I did was I brought the movie Rage from oh, you that's to see. Oh, right. And this, at the time that we arrived here from Michigan, uh, Rage was being filmed uh, at this that. hospital with George C. Scott. And, uh, and then we've got, uh, uh, let's see, George C. Scott, a very young uh, Martin, Martin Sheen, Sheen. Yep. and then uh, uh, Richard Basehart. People that are watching this, if you want to see the movie, the entire movie is actually on YouTube. So you can pull it up and oh, watch it. Oh, can you it. really? Yeah, and so I, I haven't seen the whole movie yet, but the part I did, it was funny. So there's a portion where he's bringing his kid into the hospital. Mm -hmm. And he's in his truck and they show him driving through the underpass mm -hmm. on the other side of town. Mm -hmm. And then the very next sequen sequence, he's coming down off of uh, off of I-10. Off of I-10 <laughs> over by and the tire shop. And swinging all the way around to the yes. kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. And one of the things I noticed was that it actually that was before obviously all the extension or the oh, additions yeah. oh, and yeah. everything very else definitely. that was. Yeah. Yeah. And when you go inside, this is this is I think the fun part is going inside and all of the nurses station admitting was one long yeah. nurses station oh, okay i didn't even notice yeah. that it was still when i was a new nurse here mm -hmm. it was still like that yeah. that's awesome yeah, yeah. <laughs> one of the things too that shows in the movie that really gets me is the room now that is the office for x-ray for radiology okay okay that was the whole lab Oh, okay. That was the whole lab, and Martin Sheen was pouring over the lab equipment <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> in the movie. It's worth seeing. Uh, it never was up for an Academy Award. Never well, yeah, would, yeah. would have been. But at the same time, to realize what the town looked like at that time, there was there was no, no Safeway. There was no uh, shopping center there. Sure, sure. Um, Y'all, uh, as a matter of fact, I think they still had the th sign saying Marie's. Yep. Yep restaurant and and okay thank you so yeah. you bring up marie's truck stop sign truck stop do you remember that yeah is that big old truck yeah so my mom who's been around this area yeah. for for ages i don't know if my dad or not but as a kid i remember the marie truck stop sign yeah it was like a fixture and i asked her about it and she thought it was crazy I may be crazy, but not when it comes to the marie truck stop sign. <laughs> well i'll tell you what if nothing else you can prove it how's that it's in the movie. It's in the movie. It is in the movie? It's yeah. in the movie. <laughs> and actually, and there is a, it, I'll, I'll bring this in for you. I know I'm not crazy. Well, okay, again, when it comes to the Marie Truck Stop sign, <laughs> I know I'm not crazy. There's a book that's actually Americana signage mm -hmm. from the United States, and the Marie Truck Stop sign is on the cover uh, of that. Uh -huh. And so I'll have to find that and bring it in because yeah. oh, yeah. it was pretty neat. But I remember that as a little kid. It was there for a long time. Yeah. It was much like the uh, the A and W A and W was there forever. You and, bet. And, and then Hanks did it have a bowl? Hanks. Well, as a matter of oh, fact, yeah. uh, what was Galilea, uh, Galeano's was a Hanks coffee shop. Yeah, yeah. I remember that. Yeah. yeah. I, I to this day I remember the smell that you would. It's like a combination of like coffee, hot chocolate, mm -hmm. and whatever when you walked yeah. into Hanks coffee yeah. shop. Yeah. A little bit of smoke. Yeah. <laughs> in those that days, was awesome. yeah. In those days. <laughs> there was yeah. smoke everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Even in the hospital. Do you uh do you remember was there any interaction with the like 
Martin Sheen and that type of well, stuff? As a matter of fact, they threw a big party for, for oh, the really? community after the movie was made because people were so friendly and were so helpful and what have you that they wanted to say thank you to the to the community. Where, where is Martin Sheen these days? Is he still around? Yeah. Yeah, as a matter of fact, he shows up every once in a while. He was in The Departed, which was amazing, that movie. I think we need to give him a call and see if maybe he'll come back and throw us <laughs> but, another party. Oh, I'll tell you what. I'll give it a shot. I mean, the worst he you can do is say would. no, right? Yeah, true. Yeah. yeah. All right, Martin, we're coming after you. Are you ready for Rage 2? <laughs> ready? Yeah. Ready for the follow-up? <laughs> That's a big thing these days, all the sequels. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And yeah. I think Rage has been neglected. I think one of the, the uh, scenes that I really appreciate most in here was uh, Richard Basehart walking down this cement way uh -huh. out into the desert. Yeah. <laughs> there were no trees. Yeah. It was all just desert land. Yeah. And, and that really gets me because he came out that that door right there. Yeah. That's yeah. funny. It's crazy. Yeah. So the the big question for me is was Gordon's there at that time? Gordon's was in town, but it was where uh, the um, St. Vinny's is now. Oh, what? oh really? Oh yeah, that was Gordon's oh, market. I didn't know that. that. And then mm -hmm. down on the other side under the underpass was the San Pedro. San Pedro, Pedro yeah. San that's Pedro right. market. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, we lived on the other side of town, so it was always like whatever you couldn't get at San Pedro, you mm -hmm. would mosey yeah. on up to Gordon's. To and, Gordon's. Yeah. And then, of course, Gordon's was right next door. Yeah. Yeah. One of my favorite stories about Gordon's, and this was after I had, uh, well, I was working here, right at change of shift, we get a, a message that the helicopter is coming in. So would we turn on the lights? So I very dutifully went over and I flipped all the lights. So I stop at Gordon's on the way home to pick up just a few things. And I look out and the cops are coming like crazy. Well, it turned out I was so good at that that I let the cops know that we had a problem as well. <laughs> you were flipping all the switches. I was huh? flipping all the switches. <laughs> <laughs> and they didn't fire me. Oh, I, that was wonderful. Yeah. Of course not. Very keepers. Of course not. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So when so when they did the film, was was that Gordon's over here? Was Gordon, that building over there? Yeah, Gordon's was. Oh yeah, that. As a matter of fact, they took an old thing and then put the. Uh, uh, the western face on it. Yeah, yeah. So where the R and R pizza was right next door was Gordon's Market for a long time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was kind of like the, at that point, that was like the kind of center of the community. Oh, I remember yeah. as a kid, oh, that, yeah. you go to Gordon's. That's oh yeah. That's where you get all the good gossip and everything. Yeah. <laughs> it was awesome. Yeah. So when did you start working at Benson Hospital? I started in '85. In '85, mm -hmm. and, and then I graduated. Uh, I graduated. <laughs> She did her time. I did my time. She, uh, I graduated. She got released on good behavior. <laughs> uh, in 95. In 95. Yeah, as a matter of fact, my husband's health was uh, declining a little bit. And we thought, well, I'll, I'll retire and then we'll travel some. And we did. Mm -hmm. To Tucson and back to all of his doctors. <laughs> <laughs> that was your travel, huh? That was our travel. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear.